Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Copperman. I'm the Director of Infertility at Mount Sinai, and I'm also the Vice Chairman of Obstetrics, Gynecology, and Reproductive Science. When we're looking at fertility, we really want to know whether the vaccine, any of the vaccines available, have an effect on the sperm, the eggs, or the embryo, or on implantation itself. When we look at the data on the sperm, we're looking at recent publications over the last few weeks that have looked at men before and after getting the vaccine and have shown no decrease in the count, the motility, or the morphology of, this, of the sperm. So we're convinced that the vaccine itself does not cause male infertility. We're also looking at ovarian reserve and ovarian function in women, and we've studied our internal data of women who have taken the vaccine and then gone through fertility cycles, and we're seeing no decrease in their egg production or their ability to make an embryo. And finally, we're looking at implantation of the embryo. So when we take a chromosomally normal embryo and put it into the uterus after somebody's been vaccinated, we're seeing no decrease at all in implantation. So we know that COVID-19 can be very dangerous to everybody and especially disproportionately to pregnant women. So we know the importance of preventing COVID-19 in pregnancy, but this is really reassuring as we gather data that the vaccine itself does not cause infertility, and it does prevent severe disease.